What's up y'all? Welcome back. I just wanted to come with a really quick, um, hopefully encouraging or inspiring video for all of the educators out there. Um, I was, I recently, um, was contacted one of, by one of my previous students. Um, for those of you who don't know, I taught in the classroom for approximately 13 years. Um, and then I moved into administration in my school district. Um, and I've been working there ever since. Um, this is actually my 20th year, I believe, in education. But I just wanted to, like I said, one of my uh, old students contacted me on Instagram and it was just such a pleasure to uh, hear from her and know how she's doing. Um, those of you who are educators, you know that when you are in the classroom, when you are teaching uh, students, you those are your children. <laughs> So, you know, I've had uh, thousands of children, I guess, over the years, and it's just uh, truly rewarding when they um, are, you know, they grow up, you know, <laughs> and they go out into the world and they do well, and then they reach out to you and let you know how well they're doing. It's just a true uh, blessing, and it is a reminder as to why you do what you do. Um, but as we are going back to school virtually, uh, for most of us, um, I know it's going to be uh, a little difficult because sometimes, um, you know, the kids need that face to face um, and, you know, those interactions with their peers and with their teachers. Uh, they enjoy it, most of them. Um, so I know going back virtually might be a little um, challenging. Uh, you will get to see their faces and hopefully you have some tools in your toolbox to be a, a fun um, and engaging teacher online. Um, so I just want to, you know, encourage you to do what you can to connect with your students, to see how they are doing socially and emotionally, um, maybe providing them with some um, activities, some learning opportunities to tap in to their social and emotional learning. Um, so, and I know I'm, you know, there are, you know, academic teachers and there are elective teachers or teachers that teach specials, you know, depending on what level you are. Um, it's, you know, called different things, but it's important for us to make sure that our kids are moving daily. It's important for us to move daily. Uh, so, I just want to, again, encourage you to um, tap into your uh, students' emotional and social learning, um, have them moving every day, even if, you know, you're not a physical education teacher, just encouraging your students to uh, go out for a walk um, if they can, um, play with their siblings, dance with the family, um, just do something in order to get their body moving because that's what they're brain needs. Movement helps the brain first, um, but also it will help them um, physically as well. So be encouraged. Um, teachers, uh, I know for us in my district, we are starting um, really soon. So be encouraged, like I said, and be your best selves this year virtually. I know you're going to do awesome. Um, put down below uh, in the comment section if you have any questions, concerns, um, or just put some inspiring words. Even if you're not a teacher, an educator, you know, put some inspiring words down in the um, comment section. Parents, I know we have some parents that are going to have to, you know, become um, those teachers at home um, with their students. So I just want to encourage you to have patience. <laughs> um, it is not easy as you might have known from the end of last school year, um, but have patience. Um, our students are resilient and they will adjust and um, get the learning that they need. All right. See y'all in the next one.